evaluate the limit of this um, terrible looking expression right here for um, beginning uh, or for beginner calculus students this may seem like a terrible question but um, it's actually quite simple once you get the hang of it and, um, and that will be my job hopefully and or rather hopefully I'll succeed at it <laughs> and um, okay so let's get started well we're gonna have to do s to simplify this expression because we can't really um, let me draw a straight line here because that's bugging me. There we go. Um, we can't just plug in 0 for x and be done with this. Just because we would have 0 in the denominator and we, we can't do that. Um, so right now what we're going to have to do is actually multiply this expression by 5 plus x plus or the root of 5 plus x plus the root of 5 all over the same thing basically because we we can do this and once and now we can actually expand um, the top of the the fraction here again I'm just gonna draw a line a good straight line here without the pencil function and so let's follow this so root 5 plus x times root 5 plus x is just actually 5 plus x and the the radical is gone then we're gonna multiply multiply this guy times the root of 5 and that's gonna give us basically 5 times 5 plus x inside the root then we're gonna multiply negative root 5 times this and we're gonna get negative 5 times 5 plus x inside the root and oh I should have extended this and finally negative um, negative root 5 multiplied by positive root 5 is just going to be negative root 25 which will just be negative 5 anyways and down at the bottom here I'm just going to leave this as x times the root of 5 plus x plus root 5 and um, great so what will happen at the top here is that these guys are going to cancel out, which is actually the reason why I I chose to multiply the whole fraction by this anyways. And so the top is going to actually simplify to 5 plus x. Oops, I wrote 5x. Five, 5 plus x minus 5, because that's the root 25 is just 5. All over. this stuff okay so 5 minus 5 is 0 good so we only have x over x and everything over here and at this point we can actually just cancel out the x's because the 5's are gone so we have 1 over just this whole thing over here so now that we have that so lim this x approaches 0 of 1 over root of 5 plus x actually plus root 5 now I can actually plug in 0 for x because that's not gonna make the denominator equal to 0 so, and the limits done the limits gone so this would be f the root of 5 plus 0 plus root 5 so that's going to give us 1 over 2 root 5 because it's just root 5 plus root 5 then we're done but I want to rationalize this so we don't have a radical on the bottom or on the denominator so that's going to be root 5 over 10 and that's it for similar questions you can go to this website and hopefully that made good sense thanks for watching